Okay, so here is a, an example of what happens when you die alone and also what happens when the lungs are compromised at the end of a past life. My client had tuberculosis in her lungs in her past life. Uh, she ended up in hospice care, but like really poor care. It was a very rundown facility. And she was gener generally left alone because other people had a fear of catching the tuberculosis. She actually spent a whole year pretty much alone, which of course is very, very traumatic. It was the year leading up to her, her death. Now, I found over and over and over again that if, as I say, the lungs are compromised at the end of a past life, it will show up in this life almost always as childhood asthma, but sometimes adult asthma, sometimes it comes on a little bit later. Sometimes it'll come on around whatever age you were in the past life when you had that issue. Uh, my client certainly had that. Um, she had asthma and bronchitis, uh, which is very typical of someone who's uh, died of tuberculosis in the lungs. The effect of dying alone is significant because anyone who dies alone wants to ideally belong in this life because they will have a tendency to uh, isolate. And my client actually has a group of 10 women um, that she brought together. And that's super important because to be the uniter is a tremendous way to heal the past life fear of rejection that comes from dying alone. 